With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let's do this question. The question says that three particles A, B and C are situated at the vertices of an equilateral triangle ABC of side A at time t equals to 0. Each particle move with constant speed v. A always has its velocity along AB line and B along BC and C along CA. At what time will the particle meet each other? So if I draw the diagram here. So let's suppose this is the triangle. And uh, the points are these like this is A. And the A particle is moving toward B and this is B and B particle is moving toward C and C particle is moving toward A. This is given in the question, right? And A particle is moving along AB line and B particle is BC along BC line and C is along CA line. And the velocity are V, V and V. Simple. So, what will happen? Right? the triangle will rotate as well as the side of the triangle will decreases sides of this uh, side length will decreases right so what will happen like uh, after some time the triangle will reduce reduces to like this and after some time it will reduces more and they will meet at center right now let's uh, see what is the velocity of approach in this question right uh, since we can see always the triangle would would be equilateral triangle right it, initially also it is equilateral triangle and uh, after t time the side length will decrease but the triangle will be equilateral right uh, so the velocity of approach if let's say this is particle b and it is moving like this and uh, this is particle c and c particle is moving like this and this angle is 60 degree right so uh, yeah so here the velocity of approach is equals to you can see b is moving toward c with the velocity v and c is moving toward b with the velocity of v cos 60 degree that is v by 2 so velocity of approach i will write v plus v by 2 the velocity which with which they are approaching right okay so we got the velocity of approach as 3 v by 2 now it is given that the distance between the two particle is the side length which is is you can see in the question is d right so this is the side length and this is the distance between the two particle is d so you can find out the time time is simply d divided by the velocity of approach simple so the velocity of approach is 3v by 2 so you will get 2d by 3v as the answer right okay now this is a time after which they will meet each other. Now you could also do this question by the symmetry. Right. If you do it by symmetry, you know that the particle will meet at the center. Right. So you can calculate the distance uh, displacement of the particle when they will come to the center like this. So all will move like this and uh, this much will be the displacement that you could calculate by using this triangle formula. So you can see if this is d by 2 then this length the displacement will be d by 2 divided by cos 30 degree right. Okay so this will be the displacement and you can also find out the velocity along the displacement at any instant right. So if you will see the velocity along the displacement this is the a velocity and uh, a velocity have a component of this much v cos theta along the displacement 
now you can divide the two to get the time and you will get the same time right so time would be displacement that is d by 2 cos 30 degree and the velocity is v cos 30 degree simple so cos 30 cos 30 is cos 30 whole square that is 3 by 4 so you will put the value of 3 by 4 here and you will get the same answer right so if you will put the value here d by v so it will be uh, 3 by 4 into 2 so it will get cancelled out by 2 so we'll get 2d by v from here also simple now see the question again this was our question and we got the answer from two different method right and the answer is 2d by 3v thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today